Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It done fucked up my yoga mat. <laughs> this is all just pieces of the floor and it's so etched into it that it's hard to even sweep up. So yeah, throw the whole yoga mat away. <laughs> this is a little something I drew the other day too. I'll be doing these little games, I guess, where if somebody gets the sample in the beat of one of my songs, I draw them. So this is my producer, Mugen Kimori. Even though I drew them before. <laughs> All right, started painting the studio floor. Last night's it's Mother's Day today. I gotta put that on the site. This uh, Scooby Doo boy. It's funny how I can hear the acoustics more or the reverb. Now that I moved the stuff out. Oh yeah, no more of that uh fucking brown chip flake shit. <laughs> Yeah, this is all the stuff in the hallway. <laughs> well, it's dark down there, but yeah. Oh, that looks so much better. All right, it's May 11th. The morning after. The morning after peel. So I'm just loading in the stuff right now, putting back everything where it needs to be. It's looking pretty good, looks so much better. Um, since nobody's even here really, since the quarantine, I just decided, yeah, let me go in and paint this floor. I was gonna add a gloss, but like, I ain't like, I ain't like the way the gloss like, Weaken the paint, I guess. I don't know. The studio is all back how it was. Um, I have some more paint chip in the process on the floor, so I'm about to just go over this little part one more again. I got a little bit more floor space just because the way I organized it. My studio phone came in, acoustic phone. It's a 12 pack set, two by 12 mushroom design. It doesn't look like 12. I think they just all compressed and shit. So yeah, I got a little bit more floor space. This is gonna get trashed anyway. And I'm gonna trash that painting right there because I don't really like it and I'm gonna do it better on a more archival surface. Cause that is on a bathroom um, kitchen sink. <laughs> Basically it's like kind of stacked a bunch of my canvases behind this and put the remaining ones over here. I'm liking the way it's looking. And I put my door out here instead of the um, nothing to fear piece to have something new, switch it up a little bit. Figure like every six months or so, I'm gonna, you know, probably rearrange the studio, take stuff in, take stuff out, move stuff around. Not much I can do really, but you know, just to bring some new energy in. But yeah, I, I, I definitely like this way better. It's called earliest drawing memory because my earliest drawing memory was me painting on my wall, scribbling on it, covering up with my Scooby Doo blanket. <laughs> Yeah. I used it 
a day. That's a lot of fun. So I finally got the excuse me. Finally got my acoustic padding to dry. Shit took like two days. I think I wet it too much. But anyway, it's 12 of them. I'm about to see if my art adhesive work on them. If not, I'm gonna use some thumbtacks. <laughs> Yeah, so this is going to be the recording area. Blocking in some more colors with this piece. Basically done blocking in the colors. Then next is the refinement stage. You know, fix little things like this and this. And you know what I'm saying? But yeah, bruh. Penis plant. I think that's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> 